Hello Star Wars miniature painting fans, welcome back to the channel and if you're new hit that subscribe button We're gonna start off with a matte primer on Plo Koon, which is from the new squad pack and From Star Wars Shatterpoint and we're gonna put on a strong tone as a base coat to give it even more shadows for the speed paints And I got to do this way more often having a base coat like a, a tone or a wash a shade or something on top of white just to give it that extra pizzazz look of shadow effects because look at how great the hardened leather works with that strong tone underneath it gets into the recesses but normally when it gets into the recesses it still lightens up a bit because the white is so bright right and so it gives you that a nice effect but this is even better yes I know I did a video on is like different shading for batch painting but I think this is going to be my go-to now for uh, underpainting on speed paints is going to have some sort of a tone either one that's going to match more the main colors like this one was brown so I went with a strong tone to give the undertone a brownish look uh, and then in eventually in the future I'll do something else all right for his skin and his hands and his face and that and which I kind of goofed up on his face I thought it was a whole metal plate in front but there was some skin I should have grabbed uh, I used fire giant orange haven't used this one in a while well I used it on some hair I think at one point this is an original 1.0 speed paint I mean I have so much of it left I'm not gonna go buy the 2.0 and replace it I mean yeah it could reactivate and all that stuff but whatever you know it's not the end of the world uh, just a hint of Thunderbird blue. Uh, yeah, I decided to go a little different blue on his lightsaber as if it was like a little bit darker uh, Some blinding light now for his pauldrons here on his arms, and he's got one plate on the left right right shoulder um, Again blinding light on white armor is just amazing. It just pops the white a little bit more and then I'm using uh, Howling sand which usually is a little bit more bright when it has the white underneath but because of the strong tone, it actually gives it that nice clothing look, I find, for Plo Koon here. And it gets into the recesses, and it kept the darkness underneath in those spots. And it just, like, kind of brightened it, not to make it too, like, dark in those areas. Uh, polished silver is uh, for the face mask here, and going to be also for the lightsaber. And I just want to tell you guys, stay tuned until completely the end. There is a special offer coming for all you Star Wars Shatterpoint fans or even you miniature fans of Star Wars and you want to paint I got a deal for you guys coming up all right so keep an eye out for that I put a little bit of dark tone on top of his mask and the lights here because I found that the silver was a little too uh, just too flat and not enough to it and there you go folks in like barely no time you can have Plo Koon painted and ready to take on either even clones or stormtroopers or droids or whoever you want to fight against in Star Wars Shatterpoint all right Here's the deal, folks. Head on over to Bootsik FDB. Take a look at their shatter point stuff. They got tons of variety. You can add stuff to your cart. Okay, and when you add stuff to your cart, if you want to save, come on, check this out. Put in this code, Easterling, five off, as a promo code, and watch it what happens. You're gonna save some money. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.